Well, as we have heard tonight, many Iowans wish they were in Washington, D.C. to witness the inauguration and history in the making. Many Iowans have indeed been there for previous inaugurations, but few have been as close to history as Iowan Ken Quinn, who served on the National Security Council staff in the White House under Secretary Henry Kissinger and former U.S. Ambassador. So thank you for joining us tonight. No, my pleasure to be with you. A historic, it's a, a really interesting day. Very interesting. Interesting days leading up to it. And Ambassador, you were there at another interesting time for the swearing in of President Gerald Ford. So what's your sense of everything happening at the White House today? Well, uh, the, the transition that comes with an inauguration is a powerful moment. And uh, in 1974, there was a terrible constitutional crisis. So it wasn't an election year, but Richard Nixon uh, resigned and left office, and we were thrust in, into the middle uh, of this. And you had a vice president who wasn't elected, Gerald Ford. Uh, and uh, so this moment of Nixon departing and then Ford being sworn in, it was letting out a kind of a great sigh of relief. So I was, uh, of course, touched today by the fact that the event was peaceful. Um, and, uh, but afterwards, when uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris were in the rotunda of the Capitol, they were greeted by Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy, Republican leaders who were very gracious in their words and gestures toward them. So I, I felt that same kind of uh, sense of the country kind of coming together as I watched that on TV, uh, as I did watching it up front, uh, you know, close and personal in 1974. So we're off to what seems to be a good start so far. Today is a lot of pomp and circumstance, but the administration now has to turn to governing. So what are some of the challenges that you think the Biden administration will face right out of the gate? Well, um, you know, the, the, the insurrection and the violence at the Capitol, such a, a tear in, in the fabric of our democracy. So I think number one challenge is can they find a way to knit that back together and get Americans to be thinking about what do we share together? What are the common things that unite us, no matter how different our political and ideological views might be? And number two is addressing uh, COVID. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm uh, of the age where I should be pretty soon getting a vaccination but I don't know if the supply is such of when it's going to be uh, possible, as people in many states uh, don't know. And so bringing a sense of close management and that science is continuing to find ways to keep us and our children uh, safe is another such an important priority. I mean, 400,000 Americans are dead. That's unthinkable. Unthinkable. A huge job ahead. And here we sit on day one. Ambassador Quinn, thank you so much for your time and your perspective tonight. Well, pleasure to be with you.